Sunny. Better. Shivai. There are many translations of our energy coming to your planet. As you know, we are linked. Us, you, and Sirius interlinked to bring this in, in this specific way. There needs to be this for the connection to be stable enough for the translation to be understandable enough. Thank you. to say something or would you like to continue? If you have something to say, say it. If you don't have anything to say, you don't have to say anything. Thank you. I like that uh, allowance. Um, thank you for your energy. Really nice. Uh, my impression is that for me, Sirius, of course, always is many, many connections. Also water, of course, and emotion. So I like how nice and flowy you are. I, I also get that feeling, even though you're Sasani, but I can kind of see this idea that it's almost like, I don't know if this is true, but almost like no communicate, no society at this point could really communicate with us directly, let's say. It's almost always that there's different societies connected just because it's like different puzzle pieces to really make it understandable for a human, or maybe even just because we have so genetic material that has all the connections inside already. This is why it's almost always like a connection of energies. Is that correct? Or what would you say about this? Yes. Yes. You are a collection of energies. You can see yourself as that. You can see yourself as cord of vibrations and ever-changing cord. So what seems dissonant to you now may be a heavenly song for you later on. Yes, the difference seems like we play note by note, or we are only aware of note by note. And, uh, and when we connect more and more in the channeled state, we are playing from the whole sheet and we see the whole, or we, we play the whole sheet, but we only perceive the notes. And sometimes it may seem dissonant in the moment, just because we're not aware 
of all the complexity of the rhythm. Yeah. Which can come in, the, in ways that maybe we, we would cut off. Like, for example, a symphony being created like now by different channelers in a total idea. Um, yeah. Yes, yeah, so let's say that rarely in, in physical reality you can express yourself as the call. Very often, um, when this happens and you are expressing as the chord, it is really dependent on who listens. You with the listener complete the chord. But let's say if you were, if you were head of old writing machine that turns around to press in just one letter, that's what you are doing in physical reality. And you are doing this by your actions. So no matter how many streams of parallel thoughts or parallel realities you are experiencing, you are imprinting just one, usually. Do you understand this? Yes, so it's like I'm having many ideas, but I'm still choosing one particular letter or symbol to represent all of them in one moment. Yes, by your behavior. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Do you have... Yes, please. Yes, we wanted to... expand on this because František is having question about it. Yes, when you are expressing this one idea, you are behaving as such and uh, you have contradictory idea that is saying that you want or wish to be expressing something else instead then you are actually being a chord but the discordant one so you are giving off what at the moment is possible to be the one idea, but you deem it to be impossible. And then it sounds out of tune. And then you experience it as if it was out of tune. Does that make sense? Yes, yeah, so in terms of, I cannot imagine how how the chord can sound beautiful, so I'm judging it. And through this, I'm creating a, this, I'm making it discordant, even though it's actually perfect symphony. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes. May I ask a question? I know that was a question, but still. <laughs> yes, of course. Um, so I was just thinking about a particular saying I would like to relate this to you to reiterate. This is this is a whatever you would like to say about this. So this is a saying from this was initially channeled by Daryl Anko through Bashar when he was co contacting the Orion systems, the old Orion systems, and he was contacting the priest. And I feel a very strong connection to this guy in particular. His name is Neamon. Mm -hmm. And he related certain ideas. And right now I was wondering if I should ask about this. So I drew my tarot cards and I said, if I will draw an Orion card, I have to ask it. And I did that just now. And yeah, so I have to ask. <laughs> the, the card is called Light of Awareness. Yes. Light of Awareness. It's the number 105. This is an Orion light card. The, yes, thank you. But the, the statement I would like to ask you about, which he made, which he said, he, which he repeated because it seemed to be so important. He says, magic is the personification of mass consciousness through an individual. 
I repeat it. Yes. Magic is the personification of mass consciousness through an individual. Is there anything you'd like to say about this? Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. So as you are individuated consciousness, you still have the whole crowd behind. That's what we are saying in this transmission from the beginning. And we would say to this, the uniqueness of your expression is the magic. So the magic is in terms of creating all the chords and all the energies and then still let's say only let's say only express one behavior or make one choice one focused choice one action in the moment yes exactly yes there is there are a few individuals on your planet that are manifesting quite a high degree of magic to what you would judge it to be and that's because they are able to draw from the collective the idea that it is possible and stand behind it and act like it was true for, for them. Yes, because in this way the mass consciousness could simply refer to any aspect that is larger than themselves. So it would be any aspect of their higher self. And because they personify it and act according to it, they shift to that reality of that mass consciousness. And so they bring about the change, which is the magic, um, by personifying more than they are. Would yes. you agree with that? Yes. Yes. Or personifying more than what previously they thought themselves to be or whatever, but acting it out. And through this, they bring about the change because they see themselves as more than just their usual personality construct. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Well, thank you. All right. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to mention about this? Yes, so magic doesn't have to be something that is impossible if you realize that as well as you are the part of collective where it is judged to be impossible, the same way you are the part of the collective that is already using it. It's up to you to choose which you want to resonate with stronger, more strongly. So it's up to me or up to each and every one to choose which version of a parallel uh, collective reality I wish to act out. Exactly. exactly. That is the version I then manifest. Thank okay. you. Yes. Thank you. And now, to expand upon the serious connection, what we want to say to this is, you can deem that energy to be playful, to be provocative for you to stand behind what you wish your collective to be and imprint that on your reality by your behavior. You don't need to project that out on other individuals. You don't need to see it in other individuals 
for you to know that it is your truth. Your truth, it is your truth. Thank you. Um, if I may relate to this, this may also just what came to my mind right now. I know it's, this is just a, a definition, but the idea would be, uh, in terms of what Ra says, is that while we are now transitioning to fourth density, and uh, Sosani would go fifth, Sirius would go sixth, and at least Ra defines it like this, that kind of the sixth density could be said is like the level of the higher self or of the collective self. So to me, it would make sense that Sirius, if we connect to Sirius, it would offer us all potential collective realities already now. So we can already see all of them. And through that connection, we can choose one of them, which is kind of like our future as well. And uh, through this, attract ourselves more easily or, or know how we have to act, let's say, by communicating with that parallel future, now a present collective version of reality. Access through Sirius because Sirius, in a way, would be on the level of the higher self, let's say, of the collective reality understanding. Yes, and we would at this point confirm your indication. Okay, that, that's super cool. Thank you. Then I would have one more question if there's anything you'd like to say about this or anything else, is if there's anything you would like to mention about our relationship with uh, dolphins. Because I love dolphins and I know dolphins are connected to Sirius. And yes. Whatever you would like to, to share about this idea. Yes, the cetaceans keep your planet tuned to the collective galactic consciousness through the serious gateway. Does that make sense? Yes, makes perfect sense. And I assume also the whales and dolphins through the, the sounds they make, certainly on the physical level, also create that vibration. Yes, yes. And not only that, there is layer of magnetosphere of your planet that is vibrated by them and that layer is underground it's closer to the core than any other layer they are in a sense overriding the magnetic grid of your planet which holds karma. Do you understand this? Yes, yes, of course. I was just wondering, like, overriding, I thought they're, they're riding on the magnetic sphere probably as well. But I understand what you mean. Uh, I assume because of the uh, presence and the joy energy. So I, I very much feel what you just mentioned. So I, I've experienced this energy, yes. Yes, exactly. And thank you for explanation and confirmation. Is there anything, I know this is a maybe offhand question, but that's why I'm asking, and that's why I'm asking through the conduit. Is there anything you would like to say about the magnetic field of the planet in relation to many of the structures we have, especially many of the old churches and the old imperial buildings who are very big and often made of sandstone and quartz and kind of magnetic? This and also in relation to the dolphins, if there's anything that, that you would like to share about this. Yes, this is actually expansion and continuation of the previous information. And uh, your churches and uh, sacred places were built on the knots of the magnetic grid, the magnetic grid that was, that was placed on your planet by Pleiadians before your coming. And this magnetic grid is built to allow specific experiences. And uh, you can 
see positive and negative uh, manifestations of your magnetic grid there on planet as the memory. Some experiences or you would say encounters with ghosts are actually not encounters with ghosts but encounters with your magnetic grid because it remembers and it replays what has happened there and cetaceans as you very nicely explained are offering at the same same knots where where negative experiences were are repeating they are offering you to become joyous you to become playful and change the energy and that way you will imprint it into magnetic grid of the humanity does it make sense it makes perfect sense thank you thank you we would like to share even more about your connection with Sirius as we have said it's gateway into parallel realities and universes and parallel experiences and you know, or you can always utilize its light even when you don't see it on your sky you can simply imagine the light of Sirius which is three stars it's hot court of vibrations and the one that is strongest in its light is Sha blue parallel version of our star there is actually a star named sha in our in our astro mapping i didn't know that that's amazing that's a sun yes 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 it's a sun yes 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 well i, I will look this up but thank you this is, this is cool I like it. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. So you can tune to Sirius. You can tune that way to Sha. And you can tune to Moon and you can tune that way to Epsilon, which is our moon, our moon and our star. They are serious, is reflecting and amplifying our energy, and the moon is doing the same. Okay, that's why you are also kind of similar, I mean, similar, but that's why you share a lot of this uh, very peculiar joy, excitement, vibration with the dolphins. Could that be why? That's my impression also. It seems the dolphins are even more crazy, but. Uh, you can seem to share a similar frequency as well, or that's how I translate it. Yes, uh, we would not insist on which is the cause and which is the effect. Effect. Yes, it is resonant. Yes, yes, yes. It is resonance and it is synchronicity and it is perfect harmony throughout the universe, throughout the existence. We will now thank you for allowing us to have this very pleasant conversation with you. 
And we will see you in another now, as you say. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> Sweet. I love it. So I understood what she said about Sha, but is there a Sha planet already in our system as well? I have, I have to look this up. No, Sha. Sha is this Sha, a Sasani planet? Yeah, it's yeah. A Sasani star. Yeah, yeah, right. This is a Sasani star. Yeah, yeah.